Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tog Games. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all future achievement guides and tutorials. Also, if this video helped you, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Hey guys, here today to show you how to gain access to the dungeon underneath the ancient necropolis located in Silent Forest. Once you've made your way over to the ancient necropolis, we'll be visiting five different areas to fight mobs in order to obtain their cursed item drop. This first location should drop you the cursed armor piece. If the mobs do not drop it the first time, don't worry, their respawn timers are pretty quick, so you shouldn't have to wait very long. In this first location, you can see a door, and next to the door is a pile of books. Some, two of these zones actually have little stories that you can read that give you clues and hints as to what you need to do next in order to gain access to the door. The next location we'll be visiting is just across from our first location. We will rinse and repeat and make our way down to the bottom, fight the mobs, and get their cursed item drop. The third location should drop the cursed wolf claw. We'll be traveling to the fourth location next, which is on the right-hand side of the stairs in the middle of the ancient necropolis. These mobs should drop the cursed fog that we need. And our last location is over here. This location also has a second set of books if you'd like to read that and try to figure out how to make the key yourself. These mobs should drop the cursed spell book. Now that we have all five pieces we need, we'll need to take them to a special location in Soundless Lake in order to purify them. So in the middle of the lake, at the bottom of it, there is a, there's a set of rocks that protrude from the lake's bottom. And in the middle, you'll see a bunch of air bubbles and some light shining. The nice thing with this is once you get down here, the air bubbles will actually refill your breath, so you don't need to worry about that. The closest portal to this location is Sebastian's Retreat, and you can quickly make your way over here. Once you've made your way to the middle of the Purification Zone, you'll need to right-click on each of the cursed items in order to purify them. At this point, you can return back to Sebastian's Retreat and make your way back over to the Ancient Necropolis. At the top middle, there's a set of stairs with an anvil on it. You'll need to make your way over to the anvil and click on it in order to use the cursed items and craft the royal tomb key. Once you have crafted your royal tomb key, you can now gain access to the tomb. You can go back to any of the locations where the cursed items dropped and use your key there. Inside the tomb is a lot of really neat mobs that you can fight. I believe this zone is meant for a level 35 to 40. In the middle of the dungeon, you'll come across Umbra's Spirit. This dungeon is really cool, and while the boss may not drop any special items, it's still pretty neat to be able to get down here and come see it at least once.